Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do another one of those videos where I just go on some long weird rant about some random music related topic and I hope that you enjoy. Let me know if this is interesting to you, if you can relate to what I'm about to say, or if you have any input on the matter at all. Sometimes it takes me a moment to get back to my comments, but I do try to respond to each and every single person, even if they're mean. Anyway, so what I've noticed in my wanderings is that it's just kind of sad, the relationship that most people have with playing an instrument. And I'm not talking about musician types, people who are in bands, people who are actively engaged in the music community. I'm talking about just your random everyday person. Pull a completely random person from a crowd, ask them their opinion. I feel like a lot of people have kind of a similar story here. Say you played violin for six years in school, maybe you were the top of the class, maybe you were just kind of so-so at it. You know, maybe you won some awards, performed in some pretty notable places, and then that person will graduate from school and then they will never touch that instrument again for as long as they live. I hear the same story like all of the time when I meet a new person and they find out that I'm a guitarist and a vocalist and they want to have a relatable conversational topic so they bring up the fact that, oh yeah, I played piano for like eight years in school. So then I have to retort with, well, do you still play piano now? And and usually the answer is no, absolutely not. I haven't even thought about it. So I just think it's kind of sad that people lose that after a certain amount of time. Too many people view their band class and their performances as some sort of like a dull obligation that they have to do. Something that's uncool or unpopular to do even. When in fact they're actually engaged in and excelling at so many skills that serious musicians or people who are engaged in the local music scene spend years of their life and so many dollars trying to perfect. And these are very marketable skills too. If you are capable and proficient at sight reading an instrument, that's playing it while you are reading the sheet music for the very first time. This is the key that you need to unlock all sorts of well-paying gigs as a session musician. And looking at the situation from a less commercially minded perspective, these skills that you learn in high school band or in college music classes can also just be really good for your personal mental health and quality of life too. This tool of artistic expression can absolutely lead to a greater sense of personal fulfillment. It feels so great to create a piece of music on your own, and it's kind of a feeling that you can get addicted to. And I use that term as kind of strange, but this is a healthy addiction. The more you do it, the more amazing music and beauty that you release out into the world around you. It's a positive thing for everybody involved. To which you're probably like, huh, yeah, whatever, dork. But without all that mumbo jumbo that I just spewed, like just playing an instrument as a recreational or pastime activity can be fun too, even if you're not that serious about it. Even if you don't practice Santeria, you just sloppily strum through it and you just yell the words along out of key, it doesn't matter. You're having fun, you're playing an instrument, and you're enjoying yourself through the magic of music. I'm not saying that you can't get there on your own, that you have to have some sort of experience in school playing an instrument, otherwise you won't be as well off as others. You can definitely get there through your own practice routine. School band class may force us to learn these skills with a greater degree of discipline than many of us are probably comfortable with. But despite this, it is a great way to internalize and master these very useful lifelong skills from a very young age. I certainly wish that I had that kind of platform to start out from when I got my start in music. Now I did get some very quality music education later on down the line when I went to college. I was involved in the choir and I also took a good portion of the music theory course, but I did not quite finish it. I kind of pieced together everything else I needed to know on my own. But my experience in college was definitely a good step forward as far as understanding a lot of fundamentals that were a little bit foggy trying to get there on my own. But that's kind of beside the point. It doesn't really matter what my experience was. You should never feel like your school band days were a waste of your time or uncool or something that you should be ashamed of. So you should dust off that old rusty trombone that you got sitting in the closet and maybe give it another try. Anyway, I'm Audi for this time. 
follow me for more recipes. Thank you everyone very much for watching. I would like to give a Patreon supporter shout out to John Johnson and our newest member, AJ Barbour. AJ is my cousin and a very amazing musician and you should absolutely not be sleeping on the music that he produces because it is great. I will drop a link to his channel down in the description. That's Apple Jack's music and you will find the link down below. Be sure to give it a listen. You could become a Patreon supporter too. Absolutely no pressure on that, but I greatly appreciate anybody who is willing to make a financial contribution to my lame little channel over here. That's all. I will catch you next time, hopefully, and have fun out there.